I know you fucking lying. If you thought I'm about to let this day go by today and not talk about yesterday, that halftime show, the Super Bowl halftime show, baby. Baby, if you was born in the 70s and you wasn't hard of breathing and needing your inhaler like I was, we can't be cool. Because when I say they went in, they went in, baby, let me tell you, the only thing, I, I'm going to tell you, the only thing, let's just talk about it. I'm going to try to just start at the, let's just start at the very beginning of the Super Bowl and go, and, and I, I can't, I'm not going to cover the whole game. I'm just going to cover the halftime show because I, I was going to talk about a, a bunch of other things because the, the commercials was everything. Like the commercials was on point. The commercials were good. If you ask me which one was my favorite, uh, this is such a hard decision. I mean, the first thing, Mary Mary was sending chills all over my body out of the gate. When they started singing, Mary Mary, when they got to that part, when they be like, sing a song. Full of the faith that the dark past has taught us. Song full of the faith that the dark past has taught us. Baby, hallelujah. It was time to go to church. Because when I tell you, chills just came all over me. And I was just, you know how it is when you at church and you about to feel the spirit and it's just like building up inside you, baby. Mary Mary will do that to you, okay? They have that effect on you. This halftime show, I know younger people don't understand it. But those of you, if you know, you know how epic this was. When they showed Dr. Dre hands on that table, like, <laughs> moving them equalizers and stuff up, you already know, like, how epic this is. Like, like I said, if you know, you know. If you don't, you just don't. I can't help you. If you didn't live in that time, you won't understand, baby. I think I came up out of my recliner so fast, I like to turn it over. Because <laughs> I knew in that moment right then. Then when Snoop Dogg came down the stairs and he was sea walking and then the picture on the wall by him went back to, you know, when he first came out and that Doberman turned into him and back in that picture on the wall beside him did that. That baby, when I tell you we were screaming, I probably had screamed so much I was hoarse, honey. And then a lot of people don't understand this halftime show. And a lot of people, and I'm not racist, but I got to say it because I told y'all I'm keeping it 100. A lot of white people was mad about this show. <sighs> they don't understand. It's in Los Angeles. The people that perform represent Los Angeles. This is what it is for Los Angeles. The fans of Los Angeles they know if you know you know if you don't know we can't help educate you at this point we tired and we over it if you dumb to the fact you're just gonna have to remain dumb to the fact this late this this late in day and time honey it's been almost 30 years if you this far behind just stay behind leave it alone just sit down and shut up and, and it'll be done and over with here soon you don't even have to be worried, so ain't no need to try to jump on social media and keep up a bunch of ruckus about it. We have watched halftime shows with everything from pop to country music and all other kind of stuff. We we ain't really been complaining, ain't said nothing. But this right here 
had significant meaning to it. And if you don't understand the meaning and you can't get it, we can't help you and we can't make you. That's it. We over it. We done. We are gonna drop it right there. The first thing we need to talk about with this this halftime show is the set. The building that they have for the set, like that they standing on top of, like rep represents like from that block. But then like the ground under there is like a skylight of the city. It's like the city lit up. So then it's like they on top of the city. Baby, when I tell you they came through, da 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 <laughs> They did the best songs, baby. Snoop did and Dre did all they main hitters. Because y'all already know when that get out on California Love, come on. Everybody was just like going in. Like everybody was going so hard. My, my daughter was here. And when I tell you we was rocking, she she pregnant. My back bad. You know, I got still got post-COVID, long COVID. We didn't care. We was both sucking inhalers and going in, going in. Because it was just that hot. The choreography was, I mean, out of all the halftime shows, this has been absolutely the best. If you can't call it the best, you have to have it in the top two to three. Best halftime shows ever. I don't know how they can ever... <laughs> it'll be hard for them to ever top this. The only thing that could top this would be <laughs> Michael Jackson or... Uh, the Bring Back Janet Jackson. But she really didn't do nothing wrong the last time. It was a wardrobe malfunction that y'all can't fault her for. That would be the only way to top this. Uh -huh. But when 50, ah, ah, they can't, when it transition in the 50 hanging upside down like a doggone monkey from the look, baby. Let me tell y'all something. People was talking about 50, but let me tell y'all something about 50. Because people was talking about, oh, he is big. <laughs> My daughter's like, who he went from 50 cents to 50 dollars. Baby, let me talk, tell y'all something about 50. To me, 50 ain't that. He just went from his little boy body to his grown man body. He still, like, got a lot of muscle. Like, he got a whole lot of muscle on, on top of that. So, you can't just be like, well, he fat. I, to me, he not fat. He gonna be wider. 50 a grown-ass man now. Y'all gonna have to learn to accept that. Y'all want 50 to have his 21-year-old body. 50 ain't, ain't a little boy anymore. He a grown man with a grown man body. Y'all... Your body changes as you get older. So you can't be like, well, he got fat. Because, baby, I didn't see no good. I see some muscles, but I didn't see nobody good hanging. No. So y'all going on in on him from him hanging upside down. Half y'all can't walk to the mailbox. And y'all have his age. <laughs> I said it. Ah, yes, I did. <laughs> Whoops. There it is. Damn. He got himself down. They didn't have to come get him down. They showed the little lady spinning around on the floor. And you see 50, hold on, and just drop his little feet down effortlessly. Ain't busted a sweat or lost no breath. And he's still going. And y'all talking about he was hanging. Baby. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then the transition with the little foot stomp. And like 50 was up to Mary and honey, they gave us the queen. And she was standing up there red day, baby. <laughs> if y'all didn't get up and hit that little two step, Mary be doing and be like, come on, everybody, get on down. <laughs> No, we was up in here like two steps to the side. <laughs> the only thing I didn't want her to go, go into the just change the energy. Like the energy was real high, and I didn't want her to bring it down with the song that she sung next. 
I think she should did another song like You Remind Me or if she wanted to sing a slow song, she should have seen uh what's that one? I'm going down. She should have did that one. But and I understand what broke that broken heartedness means to her. I understand I but that it just that wasn't the transition I wanted from Mary. I wanted you remind me or what what other one? She got another one that was real popular. One of them, I it's a little more upbeat. She got two more that was real popular that was a little bit more upbeat that she could have went into. But for me, that that it just wasn't it. I think she could have did uh Real love, or you remind me, y'all just have to be very fine. You know, you know that you remind me of a, that I once knew. Either that one, or real love, I'm searching for a real love. Now, I can't sing. I'm just trying to get y'all a little example, honey. Y'all better go down to the YouTube and look up what the song sounds like for all y'all that don't know. But, but, <laughs> anyway, so Mary did her thing. She threw down, she did her dance, but baby, when she <laughs> rolled it back for the camera, like she, she was down in her little, and so she just brought the squad on down to the floor and rolled it back out. Tell me why they got a hundred memes of Mary going around. Let me tell y'all little bald head, chicken heads, y'all leave Mary alone. Leave this iconic leave her alone. Okay? She did that. She did it. Okay, so let me go on and make y'all mad right quick. Because I know some of y'all them kind of fans that think y'all know the person and y'all get angry and be like, I ain't gonna follow you no more because you don't like who I like. Woo -woo 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 -woo. Well, I'm finna piece you off, so go on and get ready. Because <laughs> I could have did without Kendrick Lamar. When he first came out, I kind of liked him, but now how his new music style kind of changed, meh. He just wasn't giving me that flow I needed. I would have liked to have seen them drop in something from like Nipsey Hussle and a piece of his music would have really gave me life. My daughter said she would have liked to have seen Dr even Drake in that spot. And I'm not a Drake fan, but I'm trying to think what other artists in L.A. we could have dropped in right there. Personally, I, I to keep it real, let's keep it 100. I would have really think the icing on the cake would have been a little ice cube right there. Like, but I guess ice cube too big to be <laughs> a guest for Snoop and Dr. Dre, baby. <laughs> I'm just saying. But that's what I would have liked to see right there. Like, it'd have been okay with me. Like, I'm not complaining. Been perfectly fine. But anyway, I'm just saying, Kendrick, his performance and his presence just felt like odd. So, for all y'all that probably got mad at me for that comment, all I got to say is... <laughs> We gonna be all right. We gonna be all right. Do you hear me? Do you feel me? We gonna be all right. <laughs> Woo, baby. But let me tell you, his Kendrick Lamar transition did give me life. Because he was like 35, what is he? What's the word? 35 something's in the making. Something you forgot about Drake, that, that Eminem intro. I should know the words, but right now I can't think of. They put summers in the making. Stop faking. You forget about Dre. Uh, everybody, like thirty-five years in the making. He said in W A. Whatever Eminem said in his song, the transition, his transition did give me life, and couldn't nobody had done that transition though like him. That Kendrick Lamar transition in the Eminem. Oh baby, that, that right there. Now, that was clean right there. It could just be me, but Eminem literally still looks the same. He
he just like 50 cent the only thing different is that he in his grown man body and he ain't in the little boy body no more but other than that he looks the same his one thing i like about eminem his vibe is still the same. Like, for instance, he didn't do like Kendrick Lamar. And just an example of that, like, when you start out, you one way, and then you transition to something else that's kind of worse and not better. No, Eminem's still 100 since the day he came out, like Snoop and Dre. And I like that. I don't like when people come out on one level, and they be doing good, and then they change. Kind of like Rihanna. Rihanna came out, she was, it was real good, and then they go from this good singing the vibe be good and pleasant to this screaming and yelling like they inside finna catch a fire and burn they throat or something kendrick lamar did that but eminem did not rihanna has did that um miguel has did that um justin timberlake has did that i like that eminem keeps it 100 like he is great but when Dre got on that piano and he's, he hit that little note that represented Tupac, I think everybody heart stopped waiting for that hologram to come down. at least put his face up on the monitor did something because I'm like, okay, so maybe they are doing the hologram. Here it come. But they going to play with our emotions. They play with our emotions because I kind of got a little peed off at first because I'm like, no, no. No, y'all did not, but that's okay. And when that doggone Snoop came back and they had on them khaki outfits and they came out there sea walking, baby, when I tell you we hit the flow and we was going in, baby. Facebook litter, I already knew my A1 day ones on my Facebook was going in and they was letting have, baby. They was cutting the rug. And then, of course, that's where it pretty much well wraps up and ends that they brought up. Mary came in, 50, everybody that's Eminem came up on the stage and it was epic. It was good. Hand that, hands down, it was great. Everybody fussing. I don't know why. It was a good show. Honey, leave it in the comments below. What did you think about the halftime show? And, of course, the opening and the rock introducing the game. Because I'm here for y'all know. I'm here. I, got, I ain't got nothing but time. Now, let's talk about it.